this is a nightly recording from a family from Mexico that also has to deal with some incredibly eerie activity that is taking place at night. Let's see what they have to tell us. Cuarto. Mi esposo y mi niña están dormidos y vamos a ir a ver qué se escucha en el cuarto. No hay nadie. Solamente estamos mi hermana, mi hija, mi esposo y yo. Aquí en este cuarto está solo porque en estos últimos días nadie ha podido dormir aquí. Como podrán ver, el cuarto está totalmente solo y pues nadie duerme aquí. Solo estamos nosotros. Mi hermana dice que se escuchan cosas, pero Uy, me asusté. Pero no sé, pues no se oye nada. No sabe. Amor, amor, levántate, levántate porque ya le pegaron la puerta. No sé qué pasó. Vinimos estar y yo. Se escuchó la puerta. Se escuchó la puerta. Mira, acabamos de venir y no estaba así. Todos los cajones están abiertos. Oh, Dios. La niña está dormida. Estamos solos. No sabemos qué fue lo que pudo haber pasado. Mi esposo anda viendo. ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué es eso? Mover la puerta, no sé qué. ¿Qué va a estar ahí? Acompáñenme por favor a ver si no es alguien.
hay alguien. Unfortunately, the recording ends here, and we can only speculate what is causing all of the horror. This video is quite the mysterious one. The story goes that it was recorded by a man who was on a nightly work-related trip. He was traveling on a field road outside of town and quite a few miles away from any other residential area for that matter. Based on his reports, he felt pretty weirded out after seeing something or somebody standing at the side of the road. But that wasn't everything. Moments after, something even stranger happened. Is that a person? Somebody with their back turned towards the dash cam? But now look into the night sky. The driver of the truck was baffled, and of course, in his mind, he became witness of a UFO encounter that night. Could this be so? Did maybe an unidentified life form linger around at the side of the road? That's a scary thought. And how lucky of the man to capture this event on his dashcam that night. I mean, what else could this thing be? Most certainly related to that UFO. The next case was reported by user Marlene Anna White. She states that her apartment seems to be a place of lots of mysterious activity. In her mind, there's no doubt that this place is extremely haunted. Apparently, she's seeing and hearing things in there that make her and her child really uneasy. It all started with inexplicable shadow sightings that were seen at night, but they mostly were seen just for a few seconds before disappearing again. One day though, while using the bathroom, she was seeing something quite terrifying unfolding right in front of her in the shower, a sighting that made many believe that her apartment might be haunted by a ghost child. After sharing this incident, people asked if she herself might have lost the child, and this was her reply. Yes. Back in 2013 I was 25 weeks pregnant, he was a stillborn. So, could it be that the spirit of her lost son was visiting her and the family? This is the recording that shook her to the core. I only have one baby at my house today, the rest of them are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. I was on the toilet when I felt like something was watching me. I've been on edge ever since I took a picture and my dad was behind me by the door. So I decided to turn the camera on and record dot this is not my dad, I don't know what it is. Is this a ghost child? It certainly has the height of a child. Who are you? To show her skeptics that it was not one of her own children, her son steps into the shower to showcase that his silhouette looks completely different. Stand in the shower real quick so I can show people something, please. So, if it's not him, who else was it in your opinion? What a spooky recording. This was captured by another security officer who was told by an employee that they heard really loud and strange noises stemming from the dressing area of this old and at the time abandoned soccer stadium. 
So the guard went checking and saw something he could not really explain. The guards didn't even notice that this shadow being seemed to be with him at the time, which makes all of this just so much more creepy. Many say that this shadow being could have been responsible for all of this. Is this plausible? The next video we will be taking a look at comes to us from El Payaso de la Toledo. El Payaso is a channel that visits all sorts of the most haunted locations and often catches really interesting paranormal evidence. In the latest video, they are exploring an abandoned hotel building in Mexico. At this hotel, there was a fire a while ago that forced the business to shut down and left the building in ruins. Today, the team is going in hopes to connect with some of the spirits of past residents that they believe might still be lurking around the premises. Once the team reaches the hotel, they try and reach out to the spirits verbally. And this is where it seems the entities inhabiting the hotel decide to become more active. Hey. Hay alguien aquí? From outside, something terrifying can be seen walking through the door frame. A small shadow, like that of a child, is spotted making its way quickly across the room. This is not the only paranormal activity that the investigators caught that night. Later on, the group spots another possible spirit in one of the buildings. Hablanos. Mira. The shadow moves past so quickly, it's hard to say. But I would say it looks to be the spirit of either a child or a woman dressed in white. Do you believe this is the same entity that the team caught earlier? Or someone else that remains to wander the old hotel? Truly paranormal or perhaps just lights and shadows? This was shared by a young woman who states that after playing with a Ouija board in her own home started to have really scary night terrors and eventually started to sleepwalk which is why she is now recording herself at night and it seems that in this particular night she might have captured something really evil.
people think that this could be the demon which had attached itself to the girl. How terrifying. Let's hope that she can deal with this attachment in some way to get rid of it. This was also captured by two friends who were driving on a lonely road in Russia. And they noticed a dark creature walking on the right side of the road. Their first instinct? Bigfoot, of course. It had to be. So they exited their car and followed this thing, only to see it disappear into the forest area. But perhaps this was something else entirely. The footage is not the best, so we can only speculate what had transpired here. Now we want to take a look at a light but definitely creepy recording that was captured by a young man who recently moved into a new home with his family. His kids told him that they saw strange shadows walking around in the house and he and his wife also could see and hear stuff. They didn't always make sense. One night he was trying to find the source of some odd scratching noises his children had heard. So he made his way down into the boiler room. What exactly was peeking out of the window here? Some people say that it could have been an intruder that is living in their house, unknowingly of course. Others suspect it to be a bad joke by either a family member or someone else. Well, I think it definitely looks like a mask. But the thought of a stranger living in the basement for free is pretty terrifying nevertheless. The following was captured by a woman who was driving home in the midst of night and she took her regular forest route. She states that out of nowhere a female looking creature ran out of the bushes and was coming to a stop right in front of her car and she had no idea how to react at first. What this is exactly, your guess is as good as mine. Either somebody with a death wish was blocking the road in this creepy pose, or something I couldn't fully explain. The following video was recorded by a young man who was passing by a pretty notorious apartment building in this area. Apparently, the building had to be evacuated for some kind of urgent renovation at the time. Besides that, there have been a few eerie incidents of shadow sightings on the hallways and the premises in general. And as the man passes by the building, he seems to have noticed something odd. A pale face can be seen, peeking at the driving car from behind the brick wall. It was pretty certain that nobody was on the premises at the time. 
and the weird color of the skin make many believe that this perhaps could have been one of the ghosts that is said to roam the building and perhaps the area. Is this possible? The following is another really odd but also terrifying recording. It was captured by a young man who was out to follow up on a local urban legend. He's very interested in urban exploration and a lover of the creepy side of things. So venturing to this abandoned place seemed like a really good idea to him. People believe that when you call for the spirit, which is said to be home to this area, you might be able to conjure it up. Of course, the man didn't really believe in this and therefore went ahead. He stood in front of an old mirror and chanted the phrase. Then out of nowhere, this thing appears. Semua penunggu yang ada di sini tunjukkan eksistensi kalian melalui apapun itu tunjukkan bahwa alam kalian ada. Buat semua penunggu yang ada di sini tunjukkan astagfirullahaladzim. Looks like a jinn or a ghost from Malaysian folklore. The man bolted out of there as fast as he could after this. Pretty understandable, don't you think? Whatever jump scared him there gave him probably nightmares for a long time. The following officer is working night shift in an old hospital and is pretty certain that the ghosts of former patients are roaming the hallways, since ever so often, things are moving around, even when nobody seems to be close to them. See? See, I no, 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 So, could this have been a ghostly entity that was pushing the wheelchair? Or how else do we explain this? This is a little video diary from user LR Harf. The young mother had noticed some really eerie activity unfolding in the home of her family. Apparently, it all started with items that were being moved around in her home. She thought at first that it was just wind bursts or something. However, the activity became stranger and stranger over time. One night, she was lying in bed and noticed some really loud footsteps right in front of the bedroom. She got her phone out to record and this was what she saw. A shadow that is being reflected on the door. But of whom? Nobody was outside the bedroom at the time. Well, this freaked her out quite a bit. What frightened her even more though, is that the activity seemed to even revolve around her little toddler. The CCTV camera captured this. There was no window open at the time. Shortly after this recording, she captured this bone chilling encounter on her baby cam.
a white mist is visible right in front of the screen. Apparently, the little one was sleeping in his room all by himself. So, how do we explain this? We'll keep our eyes open to see what happens next. This was filmed by a group of students who were just getting ready for some late night work in one of the classrooms when after the lights went off, something creepy was captured. Nobody had any idea what was captured here and what it was. Or what it could have been, but it scared the group pretty good. So if you followed me from the beginning, back when I lived in the house, you would remember that I have been followed by a man in a top hat. You could totally see a face in here, I swear, looking at me. Um, but ignore all the stuff in the hallway, I just moved in yesterday, so it's been a hot mess unpacking. The next series of videos were shared by I'm Into You. The young woman states that she moved into an old house, and her bedroom in particular seems to feel a little bit off, based on her own statements, that is. Inexplicable noises, weird smells, and things that can be seen at night that are just frightening. After a few weeks living that nightmare, she has moved into a camper next door because she just couldn't sleep in the house anymore. At that time, she was asking for help from some paranormal experts. Is there somebody here? You guys heard that, right? Hello, is there somebody here? Hello? Can you make a noise? So this is the one with a man. I don't know if you can see right there is his top hat. Um, you can see like his collar, uh, it's super f***ing scary to me. For me, there's no denying that there is a man sitting there watching me in bed, wearing a top hat with giant ears, and it looks scary. And last one, this is a screenshot taken in my bedroom. I see the man with the hat staring directly into the camera at me. She certainly believes that a man in a top hat is haunting her house, and likes to stalk her in her bedroom, unsettling. Her commenters believe that something paranormal is going on here. And when looking a bit closer into the matter, Indy states that even before moving into this new house, she had quite a few strange paranormal experiences during her entire life. It all started when she was a little kid. Okay, I'm gonna compile all the photos that I think of, I have of this same woman from my childhood photo. This is a screenshot from one of my orb videos and then the lighting was enhanced. Uh, looks like a girl with her arm on the table watching me in my bed. I definitely noticed the strands of hair across her forehead. And sorry, this is so grainy, but this is the first picture just really zoomed in of a printed out photo of me as a child. But I see the black hair across her face, always looking through that hair. Now, while all of these captures could be explained off as something else of course, what followed in the next few days got more and more skeptics to believe that maybe there actually was a chance that Indy was being watched by something. Taken from one of my lives like two days ago, um, during the live so many people kept saying that there were faces in the window behind me but I honestly thought that people were just trying to scare me until I received this screenshot today and let me zoom in a little bit for you and you'll see what I'm talking about. I can clearly see a face peeking over the ledge. Before going live on her profile that night, she also noticed something strange appearing straight across from her room. Some say it looks like a face. And after doing her live stream that night, her viewers saw something behind her that many believe to be an actual shadow figure.
Is that what we are seeing here? Something negative that had attached itself to her. A pretty creepy thought, to be honest. Below Paris, there lies a labyrinth of ancient tunnels and mass graves that are known as the catacombs. They have been inaccessible for many, many years, and to make it even creepier, they are mostly unmapped, without anybody knowing the exact layout. One day, a video camera was found, supposedly the last footage of an adventurer that went missing down there. It was picked up by another group of explorers, and what they found on the footage was simply terrifying. I tried to remaster the footage as best as I could. Let's see. It's very bizarre. So basically he's filming what he's seeing, very deep inside the catacombs, other than the point of view shots, or pictures of bones, human bones. This person occasionally stops and he photographs bones, often in the shape of an arrow. These arrows point in the direction. Occasionally also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. What happened to him? Nobody knows. I mean, there are 400 miles of tunnels like this. People have been painting in the catacombs for centuries. So it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace the itinerary to some extent. After about 40 minutes of these point of view shots, uh, the person begins to walk faster and faster. Then he begins to run. We hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, Rolling until it runs out of tape. The man recording the footage has never been found, and the tape baffled many experts at the time. Did this explorer just get lost? Or was he perhaps afraid of something? Afraid of something that he saw? Other theories state that he might have lost his mind at the time. Maybe something drove him mad, and he disappeared into the dark tunnels, never to be seen again. It's quite creepy and one of the most mysterious found footage tapes to ever be released. This video shows a young man who was on his way back home from work the following night. He states that his helm camera always records for security purposes and that this route felt always super spooky to him, especially at night. Apparently, there are many local tales about ghostly hitchhikers that can be seen on some parts of these extremely old roads. And as faith would have it, he might have experienced such an occurrence himself. What's pretty strange is that whatever we are seeing here appeared twice on the road. As some might suggest, it could have been just somebody walking on the road. It's not clear why anybody would do this in pitch darkness, but people can be weird. Why our driver would come across this thing twice though seems to maintain a mystery. What's your explanation?
Speaking of old historic places, time to see what our night guard Bailey has been up to lately. He works in an old theater and makes sure that nobody is intruding on the premises after closing hours. If you remember, he has captured a few eerie shadow encounters in the past. Like many times before, he could hear some inexplicable noises coming from different rooms in the back area of the theater. And this is when he started recording. This is the basement, this is the green room. Anyone in here? I guess I can turn on the light. Hello? Alright. Wig room. Anyone in here? The bathroom. The shower turns on and sends chills up my spine. Whoa. Someone's in here. Yo, it's midnight. You... Starts to glitch. Someone behind that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's see. Gotta be somebody down here. To nobody's surprise, Bailey did not find anybody that could have done this. He sometimes works with a colleague that, in his mind, could have easily turned on the shower and the lights. But he wasn't working that night. However, maybe something else was with Bailey in the shower area. Something that went unnoticed. <laughs> A viewer pointed this black object out and Bailey said that no black object should have been placed there. So they were not sure if this could have been another shadow encounter. But he went live on his Instagram the night after and might have captured another glimpse of the shadows that are dwelling in this theater. Hard to say what exactly this was. But if it wasn't his colleague, then it's very plausible that something paranormal had happened here. 